Over the years, it's gotten a lot easier to make hair selections. Really, all you need to do now is make sure that you've got one of these selection tools active and then go up here to select subject. Now, I always choose cloud first because it does a better job and then control J to put it on a new layer. And you can see we've got very acceptable results now. It selected most of that hair. Now, if you don't like your results, another option is to come up here to select and mask. And then now there's a refine hair button that you can use as well. And that didn't do us any favors in this situation, but if you didn't get the results that you like, try that refine hair button. To get a better view, I'm going to put a white background behind this in order to do that. I'll hit control and add a new layer. Pressing control first causes the layer to be added underneath, which is where I want it. And then edit fill with white. You can see that she's got a green cast to her hair. That's super easy to fix. All I'm gonna do is use a hue saturation adjustment layer. I'll select the greens and turn the saturation all the way up so you can see where we're working. Down here, you can adjust the range that will be selected. And now that we know what we're working with, I'm gonna turn that saturation down again until it matches with her hair. Now in my image, that's really all I need to do, but you may want to also change the hue. So let's turn the saturation back up so you can see where we're working. And then I'm gonna change the hue with the slider just to match a little bit better with the tone of her hair and then go ahead and turn down the saturation until it matches her hair. Okay, now at this point, I'll hit Shift and select both of these layers, merge them, and I'm gonna name this layer Girl. And with my Move tool, you can see she's now on her own layer, and you are good to go. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next.